This is really uh, chapter seven. Oh, sorry, chapter six, lesson seven. Crafting a system of inequalities. So all the stuff that came before this was the key skills that we needed to be able to do this. So on the previous question where we drew two inequalities, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to draw them on the same set of axes. So let's start with this first one here. And I'm missing a number here, so I know that must be plus zero. So let me start at zero. Slope's two-thirds, so that's a rise of two, run of three, rise of two, run of three. No equal sign, so that tells us from earlier this is going to be a dotted line. So let me get a dotted line here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw draw that in. Oops, I get it lined up nicely. There we go. For our other equation, 2x minus 4, and I know I have to do the shading for this, so I'm going to come back to that in a second. Uh, 2x minus 4, so we start with negative 4 on the y-axis. Make it into a fraction, so 2 over 1, so we've got a slope of 2. So rise 2, run 1, rise 2, one, run 1, and so on. As many times as we can fit on the graph. This time no equal sign again, so once again we're going to be using a dotted line for this one. And we draw it in like that. Now we have to do the shading. So first of all, this line here. Greater than means we're going to shade above the line. So this was our line y equals 2 thirds x. We have to shade above this line. So there's two possibilities where we could shade. We could shade in this part here or in this part here. But we definitely can't shade here because that would be below the line. And we can't shade in this part here either because that would also be below the line. So if this was a multiple choice question, we've already made this a 50-50. Now we have to do the same thing though for this one here. So it says it's going to be greater than 2x minus 4. So it's going to be above this line here. So it certainly would be above the line here. And actually it would be above the line here too. Where it can't be is here, because that would be below that line. And also it can't be in here either, because that would be below the line as well. Now what we're looking for is where we have two check marks together. So if you can see this part of the graph here, Notice those two check marks. So this is where we actually need to shade. All the other parts, this one only has one part that's relevant, so we can't shade there. This part here has two that don't work, so we can't shade there either. And this little piece here has one correct and one not correct, so we're going to leave that one alone as well. So if you do your little check to find out which regions are relevant, as long as it's relevant for both, then we should be okay. Now I'm going to go do question two as well. And the first one's okay because we're in a sloped intercept. This one's not, so I'm going to rearrange this. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So that cancels. Oops, I need to be in a pen. So we've got negative y is less than or equal to negative x minus 1. And then we need to divide by negative 1. So the two negatives cancel here and give me a y. As I just divide by a negative number, I need to flip this inequality. Two negatives make a positive, and negative one divided by negative one is positive one. So my other equation, I could write as y is greater than x plus one. And now I can start graphing this. So, intercept of two, slope of one, so 1 over 1, so rise 1, run 1. And as that's an equal sign here, that tells me that I'm going to be using a solid line. And there's my first line done. Now for the second line, uh, this also has an equal sign on it, so that tells me it's going to be a solid line. Uh, same slope actually as this one, and an intercept of 1 this time. So 1, up 1 over 1. It's going to be a solid line again, so I'm going to go ahead and join that up. Now, a slightly different picture this time, because we've got two pairs of parallel lines. On the other one, I had a region where I had two lines intersect, and it created four areas. So slightly different for this one. It says it has to be above x plus 1. So this is the line x plus 1. So we've got to be above this line, but also we've got to be below this line here. So where do those two things happen together? Above this line, but below that line. In other words, what we're looking at is the middle. So a slightly different type of question when you've got parallel lines, um, but just make sure you follow those same ideas.